Hey guys, this is Lauren from laurenslipstick.com. Thanks for watching today. Today I'm going to show you how to do this look that I have on right now, which is a neutral colored eye um, that really pops and stands out. So I've worn this to weddings, to church, um, even to work on days when I wanted to dress up a little bit more and make my eyes pop. Um, all I show you in this video is how to do the eyes. The rest of the face is pretty neutral and you could really pair any lip that you want with this because it's not um, any extreme colors going on here. So I will show you what I used to achieve this look so you can get it and also where to buy it. And um, But if you don't want to do that, you can always use the colors that you have that are similar. So keep watching and I will show you how to do this. So the very first thing that I did before even starting this video was put on my eyelid primer and the kind that I use is Sephora brand Perfecting and Smoothing Eye Primer and you can get that at Sephora stores. What I'm doing here is just patting on a Bare Minerals color called Soul and it's a white sort of shimmery color and I'm getting that all over my lid and into the crease just a little bit but not above the brow bone. So I'm just working that color in on both lids. I'm also going to put it sort of around my tear duct because for this look we're going to want to highlight that area as well. The next thing that I'm going to do here is take my Smoke Box by Smashbox and I'm going to use the color Alabaster which was that white color on the top row there and I'm going to put that all across my brow bone um, starting sort of at my tear duct and moving outward. I'm just going to pat that in and work the color in um, with this Eco Tools brush. It's a shorter brush so I can really work in the color there and pat it on thickly. Next I'm going to grab the color Pamper by Bare Minerals which is a sort of gold hue and I'm going to apply that using an angled eyeshadow brush all along my crease. Um, underneath my brow bone and really work that in, in that color in there and sort of on the side of my eyelid as well and then I'm going to bring it up a little bit towards the end of my eyebrow just to get that outward and upward shape to my eye. My eyes tend to be a little bit close together so I like to do that. Now I'm just going back in on both eyes and working the color in a little bit deeper. I want a little light on that first round. So I'm just going to get a little bit more on my brush and work that in again around the crease and up on the brow bone a little bit towards my eyebrow. Now that we're done with that, I'm going to go back in with my Muse color, which is sort of a light pinkish white shimmery color by Bare Minerals. And I'm going to just work that into my tear duct and upwards a little bit over my lid and then also underneath um, my tear duct and waterline there underneath my eye so that I can get a good highlight right in that area. This is going to help your eyes stand out a lot. I'm also going to take that same color, Muse by Bare Minerals, and I'm going to highlight underneath my eyebrows with it. That will create a little bit more dimension than what I had previously with that matte um, alabaster color by Smashbox. And it will just highlight that area for me so that it stands out more. Now the fun part for all of us, the more challenging part, is to apply some liquid eyeliner uh, on our lash line on the top of our lid. So I'm going to go in with my Lancome liquid eyeliner and I got this at Nordstrom's. I really like it um, but liquid eyeliner has always been a little bit tricky for me. So um, as you can see I'm going very carefully along my lash line there. As you can see, I'm also going pretty far in past my pupil. That's really to give the definition that we need for this look so that our eyes really stand out and pop. So I'm just going to pull that all the way to the edge. I'm not doing a cat eye either. Now I'm going to take uh, the Smashbox palette. Again, I'm going to use the black color and I'm going to 
glide that over the liquid eyeliner that I've already applied. Whoops, got a little bit on my face there. So that it'll smooth it out in case there are any imperfections. With uh, the liquid eyeliner, you can use any black color really to just smooth that over. And right here I'm using this Sigma E65 angle brush, which I use for a lot of things. I really love it. Um, it works really well. So I'm just going to go over that. And as you can see, it really does actually smooth it out and make it look a little bit more perfect and a little bit softer, I think. Here I'm just being a little bit goofy. Uh, I wanted to show you a close-up of where we are so far and so you can see that. And I'm just reaching for some more of that same black color that's in my Smashbox palette. And I'm going to apply that along the lash line of my lower lashes. You do not want to get it in your waterline because we're going to do something else with that. Um, and this Smashbox palette is available on Amazon. You just want to search Smokebox by Smashbox and you can get it at Amazon.com. It's an older one, so it's a little bit less expensive than it was originally. So I'm just going to work that in all the way across my lower lash line from basically the very corner of my eye inward. Um, and I'm not going to go quite to the tear duct, but just stop right before it. And like I said before, you don't want to get this on your waterline because you are going to apply something to the waterline that is not black. Here I'm just touching up the upper eyeliner a little bit. I wanted to get it further in on the top there, so that's just what I'm doing here real quickly. Now I'm going back to that original white color by Bare Minerals that we used called Soul, and I'm taking a teeny tiny little Eco Tools brush that I got at Target, and I'm just patting that white color on the um, waterline of my eyes so that I can get that definition. It makes your eyes appear bigger and it causes them to stand out more. If you happen to get too much white on that existing eyeshadow, or I'm sorry, on that existing black eyeliner below, you can always go back with the black and reapply that. This may take a minute, so just be patient with yourself. It, it takes a little bit to apply that. If you have a pencil in white color, then you can also use that for this part. Yay, we are now on the last part of this look, which is to apply our mascara, and I am using iHeart Extreme Crazy Volume Mascara by Essence. This uh, is a very inexpensive product that I got at Ulta. I'm sure you could get it online as well if you do not have an Ulta near you. And I'm just going to really just let it fly on this one. You can put as much as you want. I think that this looks best with a lot of mascara, so I'm, I'm pretty much going in on this one. And if you don't have really long eyelashes, you can also apply false eyelashes. I don't use them, so I don't know what a good brand would be for that, but I know that um, there are a lot of people on YouTube that have suggestions for that, so you could certainly search for that as well. So I'm going to finish up my eyelashes by doing my bottom lashes pretty thick as well. I'm going to have to go back and touch this up after I'm done. But you can definitely put on as much as you want here and really work it in to your lashes. There I am making a bunch of weird faces. Please excuse. That's just a little elf brush that I got at Target, probably like 99 cents or something, and I'm just going to fix those a little bit so that they're not quite so clumpy. And 
And that is it. There you go with our popping eyes look. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, please note them in the comments below. Thanks so much for watching.